Hello everyone, what we're going to show you how to do today is to insert a rack stud in a vertical rail from a 19 inch cabinet that is under EIA specification size of 9.5 millimeters. And what I've got in front of me is a the bottom section from a compact rack which is um, made of aluminium. Rather than um, dragging cabinets around to film I just convinced people to allow me to cut a piece off the bottom. That makes it a lot easier to do these YouTube videos. So if I measure the hole, you will see that it is 9.21 millimeters. So it's quite under spec. And if I try and get a cage nut in there, that is, I can't even get that cage nut in there in that hole. And that's why you struggle with some cage nuts because the holes are not all 9.5 millimeters. They vary between sort of 9.2 right up to 9.9 .9. but what I'm going to show you how to do is how to get a rack stud in a hole that's undersized same technique if it's on uh, 9.5 millimeters or larger but it's just a little trickier when the hole's undersized so what we need to do when we've got the rack stud is we've got an indent on the spring section and we've got a, a square lip on this, this side the spring section needs to go towards the frame and we need to be compressing the spring when we're inserting it. Now, because of the plastic that we use, it's a metal replacement. That spring is very, very hard to push. So we need to be compressing that while we're getting it in the hole. And we're trying to get this edge in here first. So we just put it in essentially square to start with. Then compress the spring and then rotate it. And we're just going to get that left-hand edge in the hole and we're in. That's it, the stud's in now, and now we just push the back that way and the front that way, like that, and it may just need a little bit of a push on the clip, just to get it in the hole if it's undersized, and then put on the washer. It will be tight if the hole is undersized, but being um, polyprop, it's got a little bit of flex to it, and there you go, that's all done, you're now ready to hang your gear. To get it off, Take the washer off, reverse the process, we're just going to squeeze the spring and we're going to be pushing from the inside and getting that lip back out again. Out it comes. That's all there is to it. That should help. Thanks for watching.